Welcome to IAS at Speed of Light and uh, this is the third lecture uh, which we are undergoing in this course module and again this would be the continuation of the first two lectures what we talked about the Indian mnemonics Indian geography mnemonics so uh, let's have a two minute recap of uh, like what our mind is thinking in terms of after the first two lectures of mnemonics so now uh, when I say uh, a river Indus so uh, what all images comes in front of you and these images uh, should not take few uh, milliseconds uh, and immediately should come into your mind so when I say Indus is it Zanskar then Jhelum then Ravi then Chinav then bees and then Satlaj are coming into your mind and the moment you hear the name bees or peas is it that the Pong link Pong uh, dam comes to your mind or the Pong lake related with that, that uh, dam it's coming to your mind uh, whenever I will say river Ravi uh, so is it did the picture of uh, Ravi Shastri coming to your mind and uh, Ravi Shastri playing cricket on the boundary of uh, on the border of India and uh, Pakistan coming to your mind and what it implies is uh, the river Ravi actually flows on the boundary on the border of India and Pakistan and similarly when I talk about river Godavari so from river Godavari the first thing would be the second largest river then uh, it was uh, Shri Sagar Dam and also if you remember let me take you to that slide uh, the Jayakwari Dam uh, with Jayalalita is coming to your mind and then we talked about the four sections of the refrigerator the top portion which we linked with the river Manjida and when Manjida comes to your mind it is Nizam Sagar Dam then on the front door it was the poster of Parini Chopra and from Parini Chopra it is Paranhita and with Paranhita uh, river Varda and river Veen Ganga like War and Van uh, these two pictures should come to your mind and with river Vada the river Penganga we linked, we linked war with Pen as well so with river Vada it should be river Penganga and inside that the topmost portion that is the eye section we linked it with Lord Indra which was Lord uh, Indra we linked with river Indravati and the moment Indravati comes uh, to your mind it is the Nation Indravati National Park inside a mug or uh, Indravati National Park in Chhattisgarh uh, then from the lower portion it was Sai Baba or Shraddha or Sabudi so river Sabudi comes uh, we link that so uh, river Sabudi uh, we linked it with Udisa uh, because it originates in Odisha. Similarly, with uh, River Ganga and its tributaries, it started with the fun uh, first uh, five punch prayaks uh, that Alaknanda makes. It was uh, the Dholi Ganga and uh, Vishnu prayak. Then uh, it was uh, Nandakni Nand prayak. Then it was uh, Man Pindar River Pindar with Karan prayak. Then in the evening if you remember Alkayagni it was Mandakni with Rudra Prayag and then later Bhagirati at Dev Prayag and then <coughs> River Ganga it was uh, the Ram Ganga Ram Ganga passes through the Corbett National Park then it was uh, River Gaumati then River Ghagra with Ghagra it was Valmiki National Park and also the largest volume uh, in terms of volume the largest tributary of river Ganga the river Ghagra right then river Gandak then it was La Lord Kashi Vishwana temple and it was river Kosi and Kosi it was the sorrow of Bihar and uh, 
from Kosi, uh, it was also uh, seen that the important mountain peaks like uh, Mount Everest and uh, Kanchanjunga comes in Kosi Basin. From there, it was the uh, Yamuna or Jamuna or Jamun, and then we saw the rivers of Yamuna as well, Hindan, then Ton, then uh, Chambal, then and so on and so forth so uh, if you revise like this it hardly takes uh, four to five minutes to revise the whole uh, the subject matter so today again we are starting it with uh, river krishna and for us the river krishna would be lord krishna uh, first thing which we would like to remember for lord krishna and you can close your eyes and you can think of lord krishna now uh, first thing is actor nagarjun uh, actor uh, he he is a famous uh, telugu actor nagarjun and you have to see him worshiping krishna and he is the biggest bhakt of lord krishna you have to feel like that and imagine like that So from actor Nagarjuna, our image is Nagarjuna Saga Dam. So Nagarjun is related with Lord Krishna. Now let us see uh, on Lord Krishna's uh, what all things uh, we would like to uh, take for our mnemonics. See this picture of Lord Krishna. We'll start again from the uppermost part of Lord Krishna. That is the Mool Punk or the Peacock Feather which Lord Krishna used to wear then it would be Bansi right? then it is the Chakra which actually uh, Lord Krishna keeps with him Chakra then Foot and then Lord Krishna travels on his Rat the Horse Rat right. so Murpank, Bansi, then Chakra then Foot and then Rat these uh, six things we would like to uh, take from uh, Lord Krishna now. Let us see one by one, starting with more punk. So, the more punk of Lord Krishna is so powerful that he can, uh, it can even, uh, even uh, beam can fly over it. Like you just imagine, beam is sitting over the more punk or the peacock feather of Lord Krishna, and uh, he's flying over it. So with punk or the peacock feather we are linking the image of bheem right so from bheem we get river bheema so peacock feather or the mool punk it is river bheema then second thing was the bansi which uh, lord krishna used to play so uh, breakfast of muesli is the best for the people who play bansi so muesli uh, it's a common breakfast nowadays so from bansi we relate to muesli or river musi going ahead now coming to the third part which was chakra chakra which uh, lord krishna keeps with him so one day by mistake uh, Lord Krishna threw his chuck on Koyal bird and Koyal bird died. So just imagine uh, Lord Krishna throwing his uh, chakra uh, to a Koyal bird by mistake and then he uh, will end for that. So uh, with chakra we are relating it with Koyal bird and river Koena. Right. Now coming to the uh, fourth part it was the foot foot of uh, Lord Krishna and uh, Radha is uh, devoting various malas right. malas uh, to the foot of Lord Krishna and uh, uh, now with mala we give it the name of river mala Prabha. Then it was Rath 
uh, on which uh, Lord Krishna travels. So Lord Krishna uses Tanga as his word. Uh, Tanga, I think you all are aware now, uh, in some cities is still that uh, Tanga practice is there where the uh, one horse is there and uh, beside that horse uh, we have a cabin to sit for the passengers. So Lord Krishna uses Tanga as is Rath. From Tanga we get river Tungu Bhatva, right? So just close your eyes for the, a minute and let us recap from starting. It is uh, a Mood Punk or uh, the Peacock Feather River Bhima. Second was the Bansi and from Bansi it was Musili or River Musi. Third it was uh, the chakra from chakra it was koyal bird or river koena number fourth it was the foot or the malas the flower malas yeah, it was mala prabha and then that just imagine um, uh, krishna lord krishna uh, he is driving one rat uh, and which was tanga actually so he is calling passengers to that tanga so Tanga, from Tanga it becomes river Tung Bhadra. Let's go one by one. Uh, so with Rima, river Bhima, we get Bhima Shankar Wildlife Sanctuary. So Bhim has been appointed in the national parks to protect squirrels from attackers. So squirrels actually are the main uh, attraction uh, in this Bhima Shankar life, uh, Wildlife Sanctuary. So we uh, link two things. First thing is Bhima Shankar Wildlife Sanctuary. Bhim, he has been appointed by the government of India to protect the national parks and particularly the squirrels from the attackers. So squirrels, you just imagine uh, Bhim, he's protecting squirrels from the attackers. River Musi or Musili. So if you go to Hyderabad, you get only muesli to eat in breakfast. Just imagine, just see that image or that light picture where you are going to Hyderabad and you are not getting anything to eat there in the breakfast except the muesli. So uh, muesli, we are relating it with Hyderabad. Or the, it is the river, river Musi, which passes through the city of Hyderabad. Uh, coming to the next river, it was river Koena or Koyal bird. Now, through its uh, sweet voice, Koyal bird has a very sweet voice, we uh, all know that. So, through its sweet voice, it can produce a lot of electricity. Just imagine or just see the picture where Koyal bird is singing in, a, in her beautiful voice and it is producing electricity by magic because uh, of the magical voice of quail bird so uh, it produces lot of voice so it is also known as a lifeline of Maharashtra so river Koena it is the lifeline of Maharashtra river Mala Prabha our image for that was Mala flowers Mala so special Malas like uh, uh, which are made up of Badam uh, badam is a Hindi word for almonds, so uh, special malas made up of badam were thrown in the holes. Uh, imagine a picture where the, you, you have made a mala of uh, almonds and then you are throwing it on hole. So this is the river which passes through the historical sites of Ehole and Badami. Uh, these two are very important places uh, with Palagad. Uh, these three places in Karnataka, northern Karnataka, it's uh, very important from art and architecture point of view. Uh, this thing uh, about these uh, places we will cover in our art and architecture part as well. So, river Mala Prabha it becomes Mala, and from Mala it becomes Badam that is Badami, and Hole that is Ai Hole. Uh, river Tung Padva. Uh, our for Tung Bhadra, Tung it was Tanga, and uh, this river passes to the Hampi site. Hampi again, uh, it's a very famous site, famous for the Vijayanagar Kingdom. So again, it's in Karnataka. So Hampi site, 
uh, we relate it with tanga or from humpy it is humpy and dumpy uh, so humpy dumpy uh, they are uh, driving the tanga you just imagine that so because of all these things uh, lord krishna is almighty and god is always almighty so from almighty it is almati dam so lord krishna we relate with almighty or river krishna has almati dam almighty or almati so uh, um till now uh, we have already covered i think four hours of uh, the classes and uh, now you should have got an idea like how our mind actually remembers uh, you are studying river ganga and its tributaries right from the class 7th uh, 7th or 8th but still we could not uh, we call even a single tributary we have studied it so many times but the moment we change the way of memorizing things we now talking with the mind in its own language of pictures now things are become very easy for us from uh, uh, this course and now you have to take this course as the foundation for your future knowledge conquest as well uh, now you have to start thinking in terms of pictures now in future if you get any uh, further information or if you find out like okay one hydroelectricity hydroelectricity project is coming at river malaprabha then you can relate that hydroelectricity uh, power project picture with mala or flowers so that is how our mind would remember for a much longer time coming to another the peninsula river uh, which is river kaveri so for kaveri our image is kolavadi kolavadi kaveri kolavadi kolavadi d it was a very famous song a uh, year back from now so they were kaveri it is kolavadi kolavadi d or uh, who sung this song it was the dhanush dhanush actor so uh, our image for kaveri would be ultimately dhanush kaveri kolavadi kolavadi d and then it is dhanush so dhanush has learned the art of acting and singing from mithun chakravarti mithun chakravarti again famous uh, bollywood actor so from mithun we get meter dam so first thing we relate with dhanush it is meter dam or for meter it becomes mithun chakravarti right let us see some uh, more things about uh, actress actor dhanush uh, or kolavadi kolavadi d so he takes bath in samant uh, remembering lord shiva Uh, just see a still uh, of uh, dhanush uh, he is taking bath in the ocean or samudh and uh, praying lord shiva so shiva samandram is a waterfall on the river kaveri he acted in the movie ragini mms2 with sunny leone i think all of you have seen that movie of sunny leone it was in the uh, Uh, news for quite a long time uh, about ragini mms2 so just see a uh, dhanush actor dhanush uh, he is working with sunny leone romancing with sunny leone in that uh, movie ragini mms2 so ragini mms2 it is ranga thittu bird century so vangan thittu bird century it is ragini mms2 our mnemonic for rangan thittu would be ragini mms2 so now if you see anywhere rangan thittu or even in your upsc paper rangan thittu means ragini mms2 uh one of its tributary of kaveri it is river kabini and our image for kabini will be cabin your office cabin or your maybe a uh, uh, college cabin so one day when you were sitting in your cabin <clears throat> you notice a lot of holes in the cabin somebody has made holes in the cabin 
so can you feel that uh, you were sitting in your cabin and some many people some people they uh, made so many holes in that cabin just see that uh, complete picture a colorful picture the uh, emotionful picture so uh, cabin and holes it become nagarhole national park so nagarhole national park it's in karnataka and uh, the river kabini which is a tributary of uh, river kaveri uh, river kaveri it flows to nagahole national park right cabin is full of banana pictures okay again you are sitting in your cabin and you are seeing lot many banana pictures uh, you have put the hole around in your cabin so from banana it becomes banasura sagar dam so panasana sagar dam again is on river kabini which is the tributary of the river kaveri uh, so we have finished uh, the peninsula rivers and uh, now we will move on to the west flowing rivers uh, when we will talk about uh, the indian physical features then we will see actually what what it means by eastern flowing rivers or western flowing rivers on sir or some inland rivers as well so uh, most of the rivers actually flows uh, eastern side because uh, there is a slope there that we will see when we will talk about the physical features of india but there are some rivers which flows uh, uh to the western side uh, due to some rift valleys formations so let us see for the mnemonic part now uh now this is is the sequence so w uh, is for water west if we say starts from w and from w our picture this water right so water is used to run luna luna do you understand it's a moped it's a whole moped now nobody use it this is a luna so water which is west for us that is w w for west and w for water so water is used to run luna from luna it is river luna now with luna we go to famous sabarmati ashram gandhi ji's ashram so water you are pouring water then luna and with luna now you are going to the sabarmati ashram now we come to dhoni dhoni also goes to ashram daily so once you reach ashram with that luna you found dhoni uh, was there in the ashram and then people told you okay dhoni comes every day here in the ashram so from dhoni dhoni's nickname is mahi so many people call him mahi okay so river mahi we related with dhoni mahin singh dhoni uh talking about something dhoni now dhoni has started an ngo for trans genders so he works a lot about trans genders do you understand what trans genders means in common language we call them chakke right so so trans genders uh, it's most sophisticated word for chakke so he started an ngo for trans genders uh trans genders it is nar mada nar mada so nar mada if you bifurcate this word it becomes nar that is man and mada that is woman so the person who has qualities of both men and women those are the transgenders for us so he has started an ngo for transgenders that is narmada and transgenders like to use dadmi talk during summers now where does this comes from dadmi talk so now uh, go to youtube now and uh, see an ad of dadmi talk so dadmi talk uh, it is actually it says tapti tapti garmi mein dadmi uh, talk so it's a it's an ad of uh, talc which is powder which we use during summers so tapti tapti garmi mein so from tapti it becomes tapti 
so it happens sometimes when you don't get direct the uh, image for a particular uh, thing uh, you link it with uh, some other uh, this thing so for example when we talked about kaveri so we talked about kolavadi but kolavadi kolavadi d then we linked it to dhanush so dhanush became our final picture for the kaveri so just close your eyes now water to luna river luni then sabarmati ashram that is river sabarmati after that when you reached there uh, it was mahin singh dhoni or mahi that is river mahi fine after mahi it was uh, ngo for transgenders that is narmada or narmada that is a transgender for so the picture for narmada would be a transgender or chakka Right. so transgenders like to use dermy talc during summers so dermy talc is tapti tapti garmi that is tapti so for tapti our image would be dermy talc so river luni uh, river luni uh, it is luna for us and it's a river of uh, rajasthan so even camel uh, travel faster than luna right so camel is rajasthan and luna is river luni uh, so of river sabarmati was a next one and uh, for sabarmati our picture was uh, sabarmati ashram of gandhi ji so dhara ghi Uh, uh, from Dhara Ghi is prepared at the Ashram Sabarmati. So Dhara Ghi, our image uh, is the image for Dhadavi Dam. Then we comes to Narmada. Uh, Narmada that is a transgender. Uh, it originates from uh, Amarkantak. Uh, Amarkantak. It is Kantak or Kante. Kante is a Hindi word again for thorns. So transgenders, we know how difficult life they have, uh, the daily life which they uh, live. So transgenders actually they are born from the bed of Kante. They uh, face so much struggle there uh, in their life. So transgenders are born from the bed of Kante. So. it originates from a place known as amakantak in madhya pradesh and it is the same place where another river also originates uh, which is son uh, but son actually flows in the eastern direction and narmada flows into uh, western direction because of the formation of one rift valley there uh, let us see some of the important points about the uh, transgenders on the mada sardars are never seen as transgenders you won't find any sardar uh, who is a transgender so from sardar our uh, image would be sardar sadova project okay transgenders can even sit on hot gas tawa Uh, see a picture where the uh, transgender uh, a chakka he is sitting on hot gas tawa so river tawa it is the largest tributary of narmada so two things we have uh, linked till now one is the sardar sagar project because no sardar uh, is a transgender uh, second is river tawa and now third transgender worship lord kanha see that uh, transgenders when you go to their home they have lord kana's pictures and they pray lord kana they love lord kana so from lord kana it becomes kana national park so narmada is the river which passes through the kana national park in madhya pradesh uh then uh, over the last river which we uh, studied when transgenders they use uh, dermy talc um uh during summer so for river tapti it is tapti tapti dhoop mein dermy cool so you you can pause the video right now go to youtube and see for dermy talc uh, ad or dermy cool ad you'll find tapti tapti dhoop mein 
uh, dermy goal. So tapti tapti from tapti tapti we get river tapti or we related with dermy goal. Uh, first thing is uh, kakra pada project. From kakra pada we get kachada. Kakra it is kachada or kachada is a Hindi word for garbage. So a lot of dermy cool packs are found at the garbage corner. So you were moving out from your house then in your locality you found a place where all garbages are thrown so you saw there like so many uh, dermy cool uh, uh, packs uh, people have thrown there in the garbage so kakra kachada is related with dermy cool or river tapti just concentrate now uh, because uh, these things are easy once you frame a picture for that uh, item so river tapti it is dermy cool tapti tapti dhub mein it is dermy cool first thing which we are relating it with the kakra project <coughs> kakra para project that is kachada uh, second is the yukai project from yukai we get akai tv akai is a famous company uh, which makes electronic goods so ukai project it becomes akai so dermy cool ad seems best on akai tv see yourself watching uh, you have akai tv in your home and you are watching dermy cool ad so is it clear you have to see that correct picture clear picture feel yourself now you are sitting and your tv first read it name uh, Akai and on Akai TV you are watching Dermy Cool ad so uh, finer details are very important now in these pictures so we talk about another river here river Damodar from Damodar we get Dam Alu Damodar it is Dam Alu so let's play with Dam Alu now <laughs> what all things we do so it is the sorrow of Bengal river Damodar it's the sorrow of Bengal so Damalu actually is the sorrow of Bengal so people of Bengal always remain in sorrow or in grief uh, because they don't get Damalu in their state so can you see you are going to uh, Bengal and all are crying we don't get Damalu here we don't get Damalu here so somebody can please get the malu for us so the malu is the sort of reason of sort of uh, people of bengals so river baraka it is the main tributary of river damoda so bakra also eat the malu from baraka river baraka we get bakra Bakara is goat. Okay, Baraka it is Bakara. See yourself uh, giving damalu, vegetable of uh, damalu, to a Bakara, and Bakaras like it. Bakara quickly uh, eat uh, all of uh, the damalu. And uh, let us see about uh, river Baraka, or that is Bakara. One day you noticed one Bakara was eating butterflies can you see that uh, uh, bakra or goat eating butterflies or butterflies in hindi we call as titli and one day another amazing uh, amazing thing happens or uh, the interesting thing happened with bakra and, and w some people one organization they organized marathon for the bakra so Bakras they were running in marathon okay so butterflies is titli and marathon is marathon so river Barakar right, which is a tributary of Damoda Bakra was eating Damalu so Damoda Bakra then first thing it was the river uh, tributary of river Damodha that is eating Damalu Bakra eating Damalu then eating butterflies that is Titli or 
Tilaya Dam, then Marathon or Maithan Dam. Let's go another river. Uh, now, uh, river Mahanadi or Mahanadi is the river which is flowing from the head of Mahadev. From Maha it becomes Mahadev and Mahanadi it is Nadi is river. So river flowing from the head of Mahadev. You can see this picture of life of Kesirial Mahadev uh, where Mahadev and this is the river which is flowing out of Mahadev so it is Mahanadi. So as it is flowing out of uh, from the head of uh, Mahadev, Lord Shiva, so this river is full of Hiras or diamonds and uh, it becomes largest in the world. So uh, can you see here uh, river flowing out of from the head of uh, Lord Shiva and so many diamonds there. And these diamonds are largest in the world because it is coming out from the head of Mahadev. So from Hira it becomes Hira Kun project and it is the largest dam of the world. Uh, when we talk about in conceptual lectures, when we will discuss about Indian geography, then we will see the basic concepts about these dams as well. Like what actually is a gravity dam? what is earth filled dam so these things we will cover in the mnemonics part so what you will get in this course is a perfect blend of uh, both uh, the, mnemo the mnemonics or the memory part or the right brain and the logical part because uh, we believe uh, the things which you have to learn logically which are logical in nature there is no point of putting mnemonics in that uh, some things are very easy similarly what you will see in economics is there are hardly four or five principles and some principles and then some technical words and if you understand them economics is nothing it's a very easy subject to understand because we are not aware of those principles and some uh, technical jargon uh, we are not able to follow economics so similar similar is the story with the physical geography as well physical geography also is a subject which is based on some physical laws and you understand that physical laws whole physical geography is really very easy so uh, let's move further now to the wetlands in India. Uh, do you want a recap? Uh, you can pause the video and recap it. Uh, if you want us to uh, have a recap, okay, fine. Let us do it fast now. Uh, river Ganga, its tributaries you cannot forget now. Then we talked about River Indus. Indus, its tributaries you cannot uh, forget now. After, uh, tributaries, and once that tributary will come in front of you, now that related picture also will uh, pop up in your mind. So when I say river bees, it is the Pong or Pongal festival, the Pong. When I say Manjira, it is the Nizam Sagar Dam. And similarly for Damodar, it is river Baraka, which was the um, uh, which was the tributary of Damodar, uh, river uh, the Dam Talia, which is Titli or uh, Maithan or Marathan. A dam it comes to your mind so this is how this uh, way of learning is really fast and it really works like computer but our mind now it would relate the things with each other automatically so uh, let's go ahead uh, and talk about wetlands in India what are wetlands uh, this thing we will cover in the environment part and there was an international uh, convention the Ramsar convention uh, according to which presently India has been designated uh, with 25 wetlands and this wetlands becomes uh, particularly important because of the type of diverse uh, uh, different biodiversities uh, uh, which are found uh, in these wetlands. So state by state now we are covering the mnemonic part and once we will study the environment part then we will talk about the more concepts of biodiversity what it means and uh, the wetlands. So let us see now where all wetlands are situated. First let's uh, talk it about state wise. So first state is Jammu and Kashmir and what is Jammu and Kashmir? It is boat. 
you should not forget it it is boat and now when you talk about boat what all things comes to your mind first was the teeth that boy doing uh boat with uh, his teeth second thing it was uh, delhi shila dikshit boat and after the boat it was a temple and after temple it was uh, uh hp laptop right so that was in terms of uh, first was in area and second was in national population which is just story so uh, the first is the vulad lake from vulad lake we get vulan 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 flows which we wear in winters so vulan lake it is uh, asia's largest fresh water lake and it is fed by jhelum uh, jhelum uh, river and one project tulbul project uh, is also built upon vula lake so for us vula lake is vulan close and uh, let's uh, have a quick this thing while going to the boat see yourself going to the boat and people are telling you it is important to wear the vulan close uh because in port it is really quite chill so you you are required to uh, wear woolen clothes and these woolen clothes are supplied by the jhela mespes so jhela mespes carry all these woolen clothes to that particular place uh now some good people they give woolen clothes to bulbul bird as well so bulbul is the only bird which wears woolen clothes okay now close your eyes woolen lake uh, which is woolen clothes right so woolen clothes where you are required to wear it boat that is jammu and kashmir and uh, which thing actually bought you these uh, woolen clothes it is jhelum express or river jhelum right some people give it to bulbul bird as well to wear the woolen clothes see a bulbul bird a wearing woolen clothes so from bulbul it becomes tulbul so three things to require uh, the uh, required to remember about woolen lake first thing jammu and kashmir that is boat second thing is jhelum as per that is river jhelum fed by river jhelum and third is the bulbul the bird or tulbul second is toso mudri lake and uh, Taso Mudri Lake. It's a quite a difficult word to remember. So from Taso Mudri or Mudri, we get Mohini. Uh, she is Madhuri Dixit, and in the starting of her career, she did a famous song, Mohini, 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 Ek Do Teen. So you can go to the YouTube and. Uh, because uh, i'm not so good in singing so i cannot sing the song what you can do is you go to youtube and uh, watch this song mohini mohini by madhuri deshet so it's a famous song and i guess the name of the movie it was with uh, anil kumar uh, anil kapoor sorry so you can search out in youtube so tasu mudidi lake mudidi is mohini and the famous song this mohini mohini which i'm talking about it was all shoot at the boats of kashmir now you can see uh, it's very easy to see the picture now uh, madhuri deshe dancing on mohini mohini and uh, and that whole shooting it was taking place on a boat so taso mohini it is mohini or mohini or the it is boat or jammu and kashmir another uh wetland it is hokasad right from hokath we get jokath hokath joka so uh, you were traveling in the boat in kashmir you went to kashmir and uh, there they organized uh, one uh, function where the joka uh he was showing his tricks so joker loves to travel in boats where he plays his tricks this picture you have to involve yourself also 
as we discussed in the introduction to the mnemonics the only way to improve concentration or the easiest way to improve concentration is to involve yourself in that particular thing so once you involve yourself in this boat joker playing that fix joker playing that fix and you are admiring him so from joker it becomes hooker or hooker self wetland so joker we are relating it with boat jammu kashmir has now three wetlands first one was vular lake or vulan close second was taso mozidi it was mohini and third was jokar or hooker sir now second uh, state is hp laptop and that is himachal pradesh so first uh, lake there is chand chand lake and chand is a hindi word chanda chanda mama or chand or that is moon so hp laptop is the only laptop which works on moon without gravity now again you have to involve yourself so you are you have been to moon with your hp laptop and you are working on hp laptop on moon just see that just feel that complete situation around so you are working hp laptop on moon and uh, then you notice then you thought like okay hp laptop is the only laptop which works on moon on chand otherwise uh, without gravity no uh, laptop can work so hp laptop with chand tal or moon pong dam lake okay so now moment i say pong it is pongal and it was river bees right it was on the banks of bees and it is also in himachal pradesh third is renuka lake and from renuka our image would be of renuka choudhury uh, renuka choudhury is a senior the congress leader you can go on google and found about renuka choudhury so this famous uh, congress spoke person actually she is also the spoke person of congress party uh leader renuka choudhury has been using hp laptop for many years so see this lady renuka choudhury working on hp laptop let's come to the next state that is lassi lassi or punjab first is harike lake so harike it becomes hari or from hari it becomes hari haran it's again uh, he is a very famous musician singer so hari hadan so once in an interview hari hadan said he gives all the credit to the lassi for this sweet voice and which his mother used to give him daily since from his childhood so hari hadan see you are taking the interview of hari hadan and uh, hari hadan telling you and you ask him what is the secret of your sweet voice sir so he said it is lassi and you got surprised how lassi can make a person a uh, such a great musician or singer so hari hadan from hari it becomes hari ke hari hari ke hari hari hadan second is kanjali Uh, another fact here is uh, the Sadike Lake is on the confluence of uh, uh, bees and satluj. Now bees is bees and satluj is lichet papar. And we know lichet papar are made from bees. Okay. so kanjali from kanjali we get anjali and it is anjali tendulkar anjali tendulkar is the wife of sachin tendulkar so um, <coughs> it is fed by the river kalibin and um, anjali this is that is kanjali so anjali used to give lassi every day morning to sachin tendulkar uh, which is again very good Uh, for increasing stamina so kanjali we or anjali tendulkar we uh, link it with uh, lassi or punjab 
right so this uh, kali bean it is uh, fed by the word kali bean this kali bean our image is kali bai it's the tributary of the river bees and this kali bean river has some special importance in sikhism uh, what is uh, what it says is uh, guru nanak uh, actually once in the morning guru nanak uh, went to the kali bean to take the bath but uh, he didn't come back for next uh, some few days and uh, when he came back then he was a completely changed person uh, in terms of his spirituality so this uh, kali bean it has a spiritual and a religious significance in sikhism because this is the river which they associate with uh, guru nanak as well so uh, with lassi it was hari ke or hari hadan saying he drinks lassi from childhood and then kanjali or anjali <laughs> third is ropar ropar it is rop so uh, it is a town situated on the left bank of satluj river so some professionals some professional lassi makers use ropes to first formulate the curd and then preparing lassi from it so ropar is rope and you can see this person uh, on the image on the screen so he is making lassi by formulating curd with this rope and so that is why he is a professional he can make lassi with this rope so um, rope ropar with lassi so ropar wetland again a wetland it is in the state of punjab the same town ropar it is also a famous indus valley site so this thing we will talk about when we will study the ancient history part famous uh, indus valley civilization site okay uh, coming to the fourth state which is rajasthan and rajasthan is camel for us so first is the kyoliodo national park uh, it was also formerly known as uh, previously it was known as the khana national park and also bharatpur bird sanctuary and uh, this site it is a ramsar convention site as we are dealing with only ramsar convention sites it is also a world heritage site of uh, unesco and one of the richest bird area in the world so for kyolado our uh, picture is ladio or ladder kyolado it is ladder and we use ladder to climb up on the camel so here is the camel and you need to use ladder to climb on the camel because camel has such a big height second is samba salt lake it and it is india's uh, largest uh, salt water lake and it accounts for 9% of the total salt production of the country as you can read on your screen as well so now we have to relate samba and our picture for samba will be samba it's a uh, samba dosa samba idli samba so our image for samba salt lake is samba so in rajasthan people used to feed their camels with samba and it's one of the favorite food of camels so it is very interesting and funny now how <laughs> camel is eating the samba so camel we first is kyoladio uh, national park which is also unesco world heritage center uh you know you don't worry like how you will differentiate between the unesco heritage centers or ram sir convention site this thing we all will cover in the mnemonics only so with now it is kyoladio that is in rajasthan and then it was samba salt lake um, a salty samba and uh, it, it's a favorite food of camel so we again related with rajasthan um now our fifth state is uh, madhya pradesh that is dikvijay singh and uh, the wetland is bhoj tal uh, it's in bhopal uh, this is actually bhopal b h o p l which is the capital of mp as well 
सो भोज ताल वी गेट कहा राजा भोज और कहा गंगू तेली गंगू तेली इज दिग्विज सिंह सो कहा राजा भोज एंड कहा गंगू तेली another thing uh, which we uh, told you in introduction also uh, this course is not to uh, insult anyone it's just the creativity of our mind which we are using uh, because we know that our mind would remember different things or uh, the more creative things only or awkward things now you cannot forget uh, that camel uh, drinking sambar or camel uh, eating sambar so that is how we use that technique so it is not to insult anyone it is just uh, uh, the way our mind we want our mind to remember things fast and for the longer time so kaha ganga bho kaha raja bhoj kaha gangu teli so bhoj tal uh, this kaha raja bhoj kaha gangu teli it's a famous saying in north india means raja bhoj uh, he was a king so he was very rich and kaha gangoteli gangoteli he uh, was a poor man so they in this saying they are comparing a rich person that is a king and one uh, bagada or the uh, or the a uh, poor person next state is gujarat gujarat is narendra singh modi for us uh, it is nal sarovar bird century declared as the ramsar uh, site uh, in 2012 and it is the most recent addition now in the uh, list of ramsar uh, convention sites so wetland sites so this could be a good question for upsc nal sarovar bird century so in gujarat uh, we all are talking about the development in gujarat narendra singh modi has made so in gujarat even from common nals that is taps right which you use in your house also uh, sagar the ocean comes out so even from nals so much water comes out that it becomes ocean in gujarat so what it means to say is there is no shortage of water in gujarat so nal sarovar nal we get nal that is tap or sarovar again it's a hindi word which means ocean so in gujarat it happens only in gujarat that when you open nal so much of water comes out that it becomes ocean we come to the next state that is andhra pradesh and andhra pradesh for us is hyderabad biryani and the lake is koledu lake so from koledu we get coal or coal gate Uh, now some strange people they put colgate toothpaste over biryani to make it more sweet clouds but that is not the good way to make it sweet you can add uh, some sugar to it biryani but no some people add colgate uh, to the biryani so from colgate is coal or koledu lake so koledu lok is in andhra pradesh let's move ahead uh, first uh, now next state is kerala Uh, Kerala is Kerala for us. First lake is Astha Mudi Lake. Now, if you divide this whole word Astha, it means eight, and Mudi means Murti or idols. So, in every temple, there are eight idols of God which are made up of Kerala. So, it is very important if you are making one temple, you should have. eight uh, idols of uh, god or lords uh, which are made up of kerala otherwise that will not give uh, its full blessings that temple so ashtamudi eight idols of kerala sastha shastham kota lake so from i cannot remember actually for north indians these words becomes very difficult how you will remember the yeah, sastham uh, sastham kota lake in kerala so from sastha let's make it simple let's make it astha sastha is astha channel right so in astha channel every hour they show the advantages of using kerala in daily food astha is a devotional channel it, if you have any uh, digital tv with you you can go and see the astha channel so astha channel every hour they show the advantages of using kerala in daily food so sastha it becomes astha 
now comes to the third river of Kerala that is Vambant Vambanand Lake so it is the longest uh, lake of India and uh, famous Nehru Trophy boat race happened uh, in one portion of the lake and uh, uh, it is also famous for one bird sanctuary which is Kumara Kom bird sanctuary so from Vemp Vembanand Lake we get Vemp or Vemp or Vampires so just see now Vampires they used to eat Karelas and they like it taste with blood because Vampires drink blood human blood so with blood they like the taste of Karela so three uh, lakes of uh, Karela or Kerala it uh, Ashtamudi eight idols of Karela second was Astha you were seeing Asta channel and every ever they show the use of Karela third was the Vembanant Lake or Vampires they like the taste of Karela with blood uh, so uh, Odisha it is Jagannath Puri our picture for this is Jagannath Puri and uh, the lake first is Chilka Lake or Chilka is Chila Chila again it's a famous uh, it's all India like uh, both in South and North India they use Chila so let's uh, talk about some of the uh, facts related with Chilka Lake and it is the largest coastal lagoon of India and what it means lagoon is we will see once we will talk about the physical features and it is second largest in the world it was the first Indian wetland which was given the status of wetland of national importance uh, third point is Nalbana Bird Century in Chilka Lake and it is also the home of Iravadi dolphins which are under critically endangered list and what it means critically endangered or endangered uh, vulnerable uh, these we will saw when we will talk about the endangered species of India in environment and ecology part and it has become a very important part these days in UPSC maybe because they have merged uh, IFS uh, that is Indian Forest Services with the civil services so they are putting a lot of questions with the environment and sometimes the questions which they ask becomes very difficult to answer also now so what uh, we would like to advise you is uh, these conventional things becomes okay but you have to uh, mix it with the current affairs and uh, thoroughly reading newspaper particularly Hindu and some other good uh, current affairs magazine like civil services chronicle or even Pratyuk Dadapan becomes very important for UPC aspirant these days so Jagannath Puri Chilka Nalbana Century and it is home to Iravadi Dolphins let us see now how to put all these things together in our mnemonics. So Jagannath Puri is famous for its tasty chilas and all tourists who go to the temple they don't miss eating chilas. Close your eyes you are going to Jagannath Puri and the thing which you cannot miss there is the chila. Chila is very famous there. So you went there in the shop and you was eating chila. Local people in Puri, that is Jagannath Puri, open their taps using ban or ban. It is uh, Dhanush ban. If you know Dhanush ban, it is uh, the arrows, right? So using bans or arrows. Many dolphins also go to the temple saying, "Daddy, Daddy, please save us." They consider Lord Jagannath as their father so uh, see what all things now you can close your eyes first thing is Odisha is Jagannath Puri there is no doubt about that and there should not be any doubt about that Odisha is Jagannath Puri then first thing is Chila or Chilka Lake second is the local people in Puri Jagannath Puri they open their taps using arrow which is Nal that is tap and Pana Another null, if you remember, sometime back from now uh, we studied, it was a null sarovar of Gujarat, <laughs> but this is null bana. So null bana in Odisha, right? Chil uh, Chilka Lake. Third, it was the Iravadi dolphins. Iravadi is 
daddy ida vadi vadi is daddy so see all dolphins they are going to the temple saying daddy 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 they are referring uh, to the lord jagannath daddy 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 please save us please save us so ida vadi again relating with the jagannath puri right now uh, this another very important uh, mangrove uh, we will talk about what mangrove is when we will see the biodiversity part uh, bitter kanika mangroves so it is uh, the largest population of salt water crocodile in this is also in odisha and gahir matha beach which separates the mangroves from the bay of bengal is the largest for olive ridley turtles and uh, it has been declared as the world uh, Oh, it has been declared as a world, as a wildlife sanctuary and also as a world heritage site. So this Bhita Kanika mangroves it becomes really important for us uh, because of this Gahir Matha beach because uh, it is the largest site for the fertility of olive uh, that led turtles in the world. So this is the turtle actually, and here the she is giving her eggs. so this whole beach gahir mata beach it's very famous for this olive uh, red lake turtles and they give their eggs there let's move to another state now and it is uh, assam and uh, our picture for assam is assam tea uh, the wetland there is dipur bill uh, from bill we get bill <coughs> bill becomes pill after which you have to pay money so assam tea is very costly and whenever you go to the market to purchase it every time you gets huge bills so tea uh, see yourself going to the shop and you are asking for the assam tea but the but when you got the bill you got surprise uh, it is so expensive uh, so bill we are relating it with assam so dipo the bill is assam tea uh coming to another state that is mani pur uh mani is diamond for us no a precious stone so loktak lake so from loktak our image would be lokpal uh this is the only floating lake uh, in the world right and this there is a technical name also which we will talk uh, when we'll see the physical geography part uh, it has been once asked in upsc as well what actually it is known the floating lake uh, in panni manipur and uh, loktak hydroelectric city project on manipur or imphal uh, river and uh, there is also one kaibul lamjo national park and uh, it is a last natural refuge for endangered sanghai or manipur bro antelid deer which is also the state animal of uh, manipur so loktak is lokpal bill so if good lokpal bill comes into act then all bad circulation of money that is diamond will stop in the country so loktak is lokpal right and what it will stop it will stop the bad circulation it, the circulation of black money or the uh, monies diamonds uh, in the country so loktak manipur kaibul lamjo national park so from kaibul we get kabul city lokpal bill has already been passed in kabul and it is strange that even in the taliban country of afghanistan it has been passed the lokpal bill but in india it took so much of long time and even after so much of a struggle of uh, uh, the team anna hazare after that only it was he been able to pass in india <coughs> some people say shanghai is very near to kabul and afghan people smuggle deer from kabul to shanghai 
so from the Shanghai if you remember uh, Shanghai it is Sangai that is the deer Manipur blue and turtle deer which is also the state animal of uh, Manipur so which all things we need to remember Lok Tak Lake it's only floating lake in the world so Lokpal we get bad circulation of money Manipur under check then it is Kabul Lamjo National Park from Kabul we get Kabul right a last refugee for endangered Shanghai Shanghai becomes city Shanghai and people say Afghanistan and uh, Shanghai they are very close to each other and, and people used to smuggle deers from there right so deers that is Shanghai right and where it is found Kabul that is Kabul uh, the reason they be required here uh, once or twice you, you have to revise it because things uh, words are difficult and uh, uh, and you, you are just a beginner in the mnemonic so you will take some time and this revisions would be a very critical part right so Tripura is Puri Sabji for us so Rudra Sagar Lake so Rudra is Lord Rudra or Lord Shiva and during Rudra Puja of Lord Shiva he is in very angry state you can see how uh, angry Lord Shiva is in his Rudra uh, form and to pacify him we offer Puri Sabji to him and other Brahmans so when we offer Puri Sabji to Lord Shiva and other Brahmans he becomes pacified so Tripura Puri Sabji we offer to Rudra, Rudra Sagar Lake. Now there was another Rudra, uh, if you remember, in the evening Mandap and Rudra with Alka Yakni. So that was actually <laughs> different. It was a Mandakni at Rudra Prayag, and this is Rudra Sagar Lake in Tripura. Talking about Tamil Nadu, uh, for Tamil Nadu, up with Charis Rajni Kant and point Kalimare wildlife and bird century so from Kalimare we get Kali or Kali Devi so Rajnikath has got blessings from Kalima and that is why people say he has supernatural powers so can you see now uh, Rajnikanth doing meditation in front of Kali Mata Kalima and <coughs> Kalima and uh, Kalima giving supernatural powers to Rajnikant and that is why Rajnikant got so powerful that he is now the superhero of India so Kalima De, it is Kali or Kali Devi Devi Kali so Rajnikant we are relating with Kalima or Kali Mere so uh, for today we will uh, finish here only now uh, let's start next time the national parks of india and then we will move into the minerals and the agriculture part and there we will finish the first phase of mnemonics the second phase of mnemonics what is start with when we will start studying the physical features of india and that time all the remaining things like uh, the ports of india or the mountains mountain ranges uh, and endangered species all those things we would try to cover that they are in the second phase of mnemonic so next time we would complete this first phase of indian geography mnemonics and then uh, we will move ahead and then you will start your conceptual lectures of ancient history and after conceptual lectures of ancient history then you have to go to the mnemonics of ancient history then medieval history uh, conceptual then medieval history mnemonics and then modern history mnemonics for modern history you have to do the mnemonics first and then do the conceptual part because in mnemonics itself you will be able to finish almost 50 percent of your uh, modern history similarly if you see here uh, after this uh, last one hour you are almost finished with the 40 percent part of your geography of India you are not realizing that you will realize that now when you will ask uh, 
I would say Zopad. Now, when Zopa comes, people will struggle. But now, you know that Zopa is a wetland and it's in Punjab. When I say Kanjali, Kanjali again, you know that it is in Punjab. And when I say Koledu, Kol, it was Colgate, right? So once you realize it is Colgate, you would say it is in Andhra Pradesh. So you have these a very good level now, and uh, and. By the time you will finish this course, I am telling you, you would be thorough with each and everything. We have tried to cover it from our side, and uh, lot of things would depend on you as well. Now, how you will approach uh, from this course module uh, that you will apply to your current affairs. So, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this we are finishing here now, and next time we are going to start with the national parks in India, and then agriculture and minerals. So. Thank you for tuning in.